My friends, Thanksgiving has a particular significance to the Jewish people. The word Jew is an abbreviated form of the name Judah, which means gratitude. In Sefer Breshit Genesis, when the fourth son was born to Leah and Jacob, Leah named him Judah, saying, Hapam Odeet Hashem, this time I will thank God. So that the very existence of a Jew is to offer thanks, to express gratitude. In Judaism, we are enjoined to recite no fewer than 100 blessings a day from the time we awake in the morning to the time we retire at night. In fact, the first words we recite each morning immediately upon waking are Mode Ani, I give thanks. Note the order, Mode Ani, not Ani Mode, so that in Hebrew, thanks comes before the I. The obligation to give thanks is so preeminent in Judaism that our sages comment that in Messianic times, all prayers will be abolished except for the prayer of thanksgiving. My friends, earlier this month, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security released a new threat bulletin warning that the U.S. faces a heightened risk of attacks on houses of worship this holiday season, Thanksgiving, Hanukkah, and Christmas, from domestic violent extremists, DVEs, as officials call them. Regardless of our faith, our politics, or personal beliefs, we should be horrified that in the United States in 2021 such a threat exists. Tragically, these past few years we have seen across America horrific murders at churches and synagogues and the bombings and vandalism of mosques and Islamic centers. Thanksgiving is the time to recall how we are the descendants of refugees who came to these blessed shores escaping religious bigotry and persecution, the unspeakable horror and anguish, the cruelty and bloody carnage the moral aberration, spiritual malady, and decadence that we were forced to endure. In America, our differences are a cause for celebration, not tension. Our multi-faith, multicultural communities celebrating our common faith and our common fate, our single destiny that must strengthen our bonds of concern, compassion, and caring for each other. On Thanksgiving weekend, let us see each and every person as a human being who has the needs, the hopes, the hungers, the feelings, and the fears just as we do, who is a child of God just as we are, and who is entitled to be treated with the dignity, justice, and compassion that we claim for ourselves. Shabbat Shalom.